get started doing foliage, you're going to have to focus on some very basic ideas before you get fancy and complicated with it. The easiest thing to um, get a handle on is overlap. Um, here I've got basically three distinct little bushes and if I separate them out and and they're not overlapped they don't do anything for me. But if I overlap them and give each one of them an overall tone then I'm able to create a little bit of depth. You know, granted this is just a cluster of three bushes so it's not, you know, deep space we're talking about, but um, you know, within the larger context of a landscape, it's going to be a lot more effective. And this sort of mode of working with large shapes and an overall tone kind of comes straight out of the Italian tradition of painting where they would use contour line and one basic color for a specific area within their paintings. And it's been adapted for use uh, with cartoons and comics um, a lot as well as um, the fine arts in, in general. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking shape and overall tone and overlapping them. Um, if you decide to use this all over the place, it can become pretty powerful. So here I'm taking a small section of what would be uh, part of a background drawing, or a background of a landscape drawing, and exploring some ideas about overlapping shapes there. The situation that I've got is I can kind of see through this little window between a bunch of trees and bushes, and I have probably five to seven layers that I can layer up, and it's all within what you would call the background of, of a landscape. So eliminating out the foreground, I can get a really interesting background going without too much effort. And I'm being fairly specific about these shapes. Now, you know, you could kind of use just line to define all of that, um, depending on how close the values are in the background. But I think it's really much more powerful to go through and differentiate each shape with its own tone. Um, later on in the process, you would probably go through and create further differentiations within each shape. But to give you an idea of what it's like, you can um, I'll go through and show you the idea of just differentiating each shape with a solid, more or less solid tone. So. One of the things that's going to happen here is that, inevitably, I'm going to have two tones that are very close to each other. And what's going to happen then is that I'll need to push the values apart. So if anything gets too close, something has to go lighter or something has to go darker. And then if, that, if something gets darker, then everything else has to get darker. And so you wind up having to make a bunch of changes uh, because of one small um, small idea or small change that you've that you've made. So there two tones are very close, so I'm gonna have to go through and differentiate. So I do that by darkening one of the first areas that I set up and then darkening another area. So now I've created the space that I need to differentiate all those all those planes. And when it gets into um, you know, the final stages and adding in, you know, branches and more detail. Um, this kind of setup using overlapping shapes and tone works very well. 